this one, but I heard Regis Progress got uh, exposed, seen a little bit of it. Um, by the time I got done, time to watch the fight, they erased it off the internet. So I seen the highlights, seen pretty much what happened. To me, it was similar to uh, Jerron Ennis fighting uh, Cherkachan, Karen. Um, you know, you had a guy in that, you know, Zen Tenderella guy. I call him Z or D, whatever. The guy Regis fought, you know, who had never fought like that before. Um, and Regis was ill-prepared for him to fight like that. I think Regis, Regis had prepared to come in there, drop him with that left hand, him not to get up. And they go party at the nightclub. Fighting at home is difficult in itself. Um, you know, it's a lot of a homecoming. You want to fight even harder. You know, it's for me personally, you know, the harder the task is, the the more the more serious I take it and the more I hone in on it. So, you know, that's why I like you used to play on role games and shit. And I think when you put a, you know, put a fighter in enemy territory, you put them on the road, or you put them in an uncomfortable situation, they force to they force to uh, to focus and to take it more serious. And you at home is supposed to be a guy that nobody know. You like I'm about to take the garbage out real quick so we can go party. And you get one of them mentally strong guys, you know what I'm saying? That is opposite opposite of you. He on the road and the way he posed to win, there's no expectations. He honing in on he taking it serious. And yeah, that was a knockdown he dropped Regis with. Regis almost dropped him, but he, you know, he kept his, you know, he kept his footing. Hell of an athlete. And then he clocked Regis' ass. And that was a knockdown. A lot of people said he got robbed. That's the good that's the thing to say when you fight a uh, when you fight a competitive close fight. Everybody wanna say, Well, you got robbed. Well, you got robbed. You know what I'm saying? Um because they really hoping you lose. Everybody likes to see the upset in boxing, you know, especially more today than in than past because, you know, America love an underdog, but on top of that as well too, a lot of these fights ain't the fights that we signed up to, we signed up to see. So what gives it the pizzazz, what pushes the numbers, what pushes the narrative, what makes some money, what get people to read the articles and watch the videos is um, upset. Now everybody numbers go up when it's upset or when it's some type of controversy. So now the fight becomes that much more lucrative for everybody else involved. So, so yeah, that's why it's important. But yeah, Regis didn't cut the ring off. They said that the guy didn't never fight like that. He got with a new trainer and wanted to try some new stuff, and he picked up on it. You know, and he boxed and Regis couldn't cut the ring off and now people gonna overreact and say well Devin can do this and I told you this guy can T.O. can do that they may be right he heavy heavy on his feet you know I see him finally trying to get on his toes and, and cut the ring off and you know when you come in with a certain mindset dude that's like coming to work knowing Tuesday is gonna be a tough day so you got your mind wrapped around Tuesday gonna be tough so you prepare for it right you be like, well, Friday is the easy day. So, you know what? I know it's going to be shit. And then Friday end up being a tough and hard day. You ain't mentally prepared. Now I feel like you, shit, you need to take a three-day weekend. You need to take one day off. It's different when you get blindsided. It's like taking a punch. When you don't see the punch coming, it hurt. It hurt different because you weren't able to brace for it. When you were able to brace and see it coming, you were able to take it or the impact is not as, 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 as stunning as, you know, as it would be if you wasn't bracing for it. Same thing in boxing. You got to brace. You know, you got to be bracing for that shit. And for the most part, Regis was was underestimating his opponent. And it's hard to get up when you're fighting a guy that you're not going to, you only can get, you know, you only, you can't get credit off of beating. That they only can take, take credit away from you. So is that who he is as a fighter? I mean... You know, somebody that struggled with somebody fleet of foot, and that guy was kind of awkward too. And he had long reach, and he he had, he had a range range. And some people say, well, that's why Regis Progress never really wanted to go up to welterweight because he knew he couldn't hang Jermaine with those longer ranger athletic fighters. And shit, that could be true. You know, and you know, and fighters see things different than we see it too. Devin Haney obviously had already seen that he struggled with that, but. 
The question is, can Devin Haney take that monstrous left hand? That's the million dollar question. Can Devin Haney take that monstrous left hand? Can he avoid it? Just because, you know, that that whatever D guy his name was, or Tillion or whatever took it, don't mean you can. But Regis lacked that range. And he right, he lacked that, that foot speed to get in and out in that fight. He got on his toes. He tried to, you know, get to point A to point C with his foot, with his foot speed. He did. He sure did. But the dude was too rangy. He kept his distance. You know, people saying Reed is too slow. And could that be that he drained at the weight or whatever? Didn't use his jab enough. Didn't have a jab to the body and looking for one or two big shots. You know. Who knows? Maybe, you know, how many top 140 pounders wasn't that good to begin with? And then again, maybe, maybe also, maybe they set it to wait too long and they starting to deteriorate, starting to, you know, get drained. So it's a, it's a number of things, it's a number of things that, that you can say. But, uh, But, um, but yeah, man, we're going to see his next fight. That should, you know, draw people in and want to fight him now. Real talk. That should draw people in and want to fight him. You know, with Devin Haney set for top rank, we, you know, go to match room with top rank and match room, make that fight. We got to see. But the top guys at 140 ain't looking too good. Tough, big, and rugged. And people forget Sabriel Matias, he got a loss too. Even though he eventually on Showtime, he got a loss too. So he can be beat, he can be outboxed. But it's always something about fighting at home where you don't always get a chance to fight at home. Last time he fought at home was before I think he got won, won a title. The first time. And again, he didn't look good in that fight either. If you remember when he fought at home versus I forget the dude's name on ESPN, he didn't look good in that fight either. So he might be he not he might not be one of those dudes who can fight at the crib at all. Too many distractions. It's New Orleans. Too many distractions. But it's definitely gonna invite some people to come in and think they can beat him. That's what exactly it's gonna do. And sometimes you need a vulnerable performance to draw people in. Sometimes you need a vulnerable uh, performance to, to to get guys comfortable in there with you, and then you take them. You, they take the bait, and you get that that big guppy on the hook and, and take them out. But Regis, what 33, 34 years old, he ain't no spring chicken either. He ain't no spring chicken, so. Um, do I, you know, do I think it's the end all be all and, you know, this to perform, this is who he is as a performer? No, I don't believe in you only as good as your last fight, especially with these dudes fighting once, twice a year, you know what I'm saying? And stuff of that nature. I don't believe in that, but, um, you better hope this ain't, this ain't, that this ain't this performance. You know, this ain't the norm performance that work. Then it's time, it's time to move up. But if that kid's range really bothered him like that it, it, it you know because he didn't show that he fought like that on camp on on tape you know but if it was truly the range that bothered him like he got a lot of problems fighting Haney and fighting you know even guys at 147 you know feet was heavy as hell even though he's trying to get on his toes his feet was heavy and that ain't something that you can easily correct neither so I mean I'm I'm, I'm We'll see, but then again, you still got to get past his power. But you like to see him kind of, you know, jab to the body a little bit more and set it up to the top. I just think he was looking this, to dispose of this guy pretty easily because he thought he was a pushover. And then, maybe, like I said, maybe he not one of those guys that can fight at home, but now it opens the door for T.O. to have a good fight for him. Now it opens the door for Devin to have a, to have a good fight for him and them to take with it what he got. 
but I still don't believe you're gonna be no easy out. Anytime you stay at a weight longer than you should have stayed, that, that that does become a problem. But it's nobody but your problem, your fault for staying at the weight. No, it's nobody but your fault. So you know, Regis might be able to make some get some money and make great opportunity fighting a hundred of uh, these hundred and thirty five pounders coming up. And they might be more, you know, they're more skilled than most of the 140 guys, but they also bring a lot of money to the table. So, we have to wait and see, but uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live or drop a video financially on the support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description at the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.